So as we move further along in our study of condensation reactions, we're going to look at the aldol reaction. And to highlight that, I want to talk about Crestor, which is in the statin class of molecules. So this is the structure of Crestor. And what I specifically want to look at is the carboxylic acid portion of the molecule in, in the lower left here. So we know this is an acid. We've studied that the acid that are oxidation state 3. We know by now the carbon next to the carbonyl is the alpha carbon. And then here we have the beta carbon. So what we've seen so far is that we can form an enolate at the alpha carbon, react that with an electrophile which becomes the beta carbon, and now what we're going to look at is, is what type of electrophile we can use in an aldol reaction. So again, we've been focusing on making a bond between the alpha and beta carbons. So if we th think in terms of the charge that we've used so far, let's go ahead and, and say that we're forming an enolate there. And we have to have a, a positive charge at the beta position. So the beta position is always going to be our electrophile. The alpha position is always going to be our nucleophile. So to end up with a secondary alcohol at the beta position, if we think backwards, this is at oxidation state 1. If we think how we're going to get to an oxidation state 1, and we're reacting with an enolate. I'm just going to call this O-ethyl for now. So here's our alpha carbon. So that has to react with an electrophile at an oxidation state 2 to get to an oxidation state 1 in the product. So that's going to end up, uh, our electrophile is going to be an aldehyde. So if we push the arrows, we reform that carbonyl, the alpha carbon then attacks, this becomes the beta carbon, and then we break the CO pi bond. So this is an example of the aldol reaction. And we'll continue this video on looking at the uh, elementary aspects of that. So we're going to continue this video on with the aldol reaction. And this is classified as a condensation and then a subsequent dehydration. So the LDL reaction, we're going to look at first the, the self-condensation. So as we've seen with the Claisen condensation, uh, which you used an ester, uh, now we're going to look at aldehydes or ketones and the self-condensation. So we're going to keep it pretty simple here and look at this aldehyde, ethanol. So we're going to have two equivalents of that either under acidic or basic conditions. So remember, under acidic conditions, this proceeds through an enol. In basic conditions, enolate. So I'm going to draw the product out, and then we'll talk about the mechanism. So the product of an aldol is a beta-hydroxyaldehyde or ketone. So this specific product is going to be three hydroxybutanol. So this is a beta hydroxyaldehyde. So alpha beta. Remember in these reactions, the alpha carbon is always the enolate, 
beta carbon is the former electrophile. So what is, what is the mechanism of this? So we've been studying the generation of enolates. So the, our first step is going to be formation of the enolate or enol. So say, for example, we're under uh, basic conditions. Let's go ahead and use sodium hydroxide. That's going to abstract an alpha proton. So this generates our enolate. So enolate is our nucleophile. This is going to react with uh, a second molecule of the aldehyde. So that's going to be our electrophile. So remember delta minus, delta plus. We're matching the charge. The nucleophile drives the arrow. The alpha carbon attacks. So that's, that's addition to a carbonyl, which we've seen on our alcohol chapter. So at this point, we have the alkoxide. And we can see from step one here that we've, we've generated water. So that's going to be our proton source for the protonation. So at this point, we formed a, a beta hydroxyaldehyde. And that's actually the aldol condensation product. So what about the second step, dehydration? What does that mean? So the dehydration is going to be loss of water from the alpha and beta carbons. So we're going to lose the elements of water to form an alpha-beta unsaturated compound. So the driving force for this is conjugation. Conjugation of the alkene with the carbonyl to form this alpha-beta unsaturated enal. And then these are going to be substrates that we'll learn a little bit later on in terms of the Michael addition. So to conclude, this has been a tutorial video on the simple aldol reaction, condensation, and subsequent dehydration. We've taken ethanol under uh, basic conditions with the enolate and formed 3-hydroxybutanol, which is the condensation product. And then we've done a dehydration across the alpha and beta carbons to form the enal.